If you're watching this video, then chances are your prints aren't sticking to the bed. With many other 3D printers, the most common culprit would probably be an uneven bed or a Z offset issue. But fortunately, bamboo printers are designed differently and are pretty good at diagnosing issues, showing you where to find them and how to fix them. So if your printer isn't showing any error messages, here's how to resolve your bed adhesion issues. From my experience, there are only two main reasons why your prints may not be sticking properly. Missing supports or a contaminated print bed. So let's start with the supports. Sometimes you might print a part that is really small or has overhangs you can't see easily. Take this door hinge for example. You may get a warning from Bamboo Studio that it has detected unsupported overhangs, but from the looks of things it's just warning me about the screw holes and I know my printer will be fine handling them. Then surprise surprise, the print fails. So it's always a good idea to check all the parts on your plate for overhangs before going ahead with the next step. So if supports aren't the issue, then your print bed probably needs a proper cleaning. And I'm not just talking about wiping it down with some IPA. So here's the first layer of a clean build plate. It looks pretty good and there aren't any major issues. Now I'm gonna put my thumb on a few parts of the build plate and then I reprinted the same thing. You'll notice that these fingerprints are not visible until you actually print something. And now you can clearly see where the oil from my thumb has started to cause adhesion issues. And over time, these oils will likely spread out further causing complete print failure. Here is the first print versus the second print with the thumb marks, clearly demonstrating the effect that oils from your hands have on your prints. So now I'm gonna wipe the plate with a decent amount of IPA and start another print. But as you can see, although the fingerprint marks are gone, it has now spread all of the oils around the center of the plate, giving us poor adhesion in the middle. So let's get this bad boy clean properly. When you are cleaning the plate, it's important not to use a contaminated cloth, such as one used to clean the outside of your printer, as dust can mix in with whatever other contaminants the cloth has picked up and cause first layer issues. You also need to use the right type of cleaning solution, because if you use hand soap, it often contains moisturizers to keep your hands feeling nice and smooth, but unfortunately, they also severely reduce adhesion on your build plate. Instead, use dish soap, which effectively removes oils and residue. So here's what you should do. Use a freshly washed microfiber cloth. Put on some gloves to avoid contaminating the plate during the cleaning process. Now apply dish soap to both sides of the plate. You can rub it in to foam it up a bit before applying the water for an extra thorough clean. Otherwise you can just go straight into rinsing it with hot water and cleaning off all the soap with the cloth. Now as you can see, I can handle the plate pretty easily because I'm wearing gloves. But if you're not wearing gloves, just make sure you hold it on the sides. A lot of people ask why I wear these gloves and this is one of the reasons. And then once all the soap is off, dry it with another clean and dry microfiber cloth to prevent contamination. Now some people say you should wipe it with IPA after this whole process to make sure you have a really clean plate. Other people say it's not necessary. So here's a print that I did not cleaning the plate after washing it. It came out nearly perfect and you could probably just leave it here. But if you want the plate to be super duper clean, you can always go over it again with some IPA. Some people say use a paper towel, other people say use a microfiber cloth. I find that paper towels actually just slide across the top, still leaving some residue on the plate, while microfiber gets into the grooves of the plate and cleans it out more thoroughly. So I'd recommend using another microfiber cloth to make sure that your plate is super clean and it won't cause you any issues. I would recommend using the highest percentage IPA you can just to ensure that there isn't any residue left from whatever else the manufacturer has added into the solution. Now, if you're still having issues, you can inspect the hot end to see if it's come loose as this can happen over time and then cause first layer problems. There's also people who use extremely fine sandpaper or steel wool to get rid of all those imperfections, but from my experience, it isn't really necessary. You can also try drying your filament as moisture within the plastic can also affect first layer adhesion. It's also really important to make sure that the build plate you have selected in your slicer is the one that you're actually using on your printer. Each build plate has its own Z offset, so if you put in a textured plate in the slicer, but you're not using one on your printer, then this can cause issues and have the incorrect Z offset applied to the entire print. And the last thing you could try is to adjust the Z offset, but do this with caution as adjusting it too far can cause your hot end to dig into your build plate and ruin it. Also, remember that bamboo machines don't really require this level of adjustment, so I would do this as a very last resort. So if your prints aren't sticking, check your support settings first, then clean your bed properly. These two fixes have solved a vast majority of my bed adhesion issues, and depending on how careful you are when removing each print, you shouldn't have to wash your build plate too frequently, Always remember you have the other side you can just flip over to. If you have any questions about this process, 
You can always check out the troubleshooting guide from Bamboo to help you get your first layer working again. Also, a shout out to my very first Patreon member, Harry. As a special thanks, I'm gonna be sending you out a thank you gift. Recently, I've gone full time on YouTube, so every bit of support really helps so I can keep making awesome content for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.